David Boland from Racing's Inside Track TV and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by John Ormond of John Ormond Wexford Sand Limited here on the Curra Racecourse. How are things John? Good David, how are you? How's yourself? Very good thank you. John, things are coming along very well with the gallops. Yeah, it's, great. it's your job to put them all in and these are very busy. Yeah we're very busy, we've been appointed a contractor just before December. Uh, we obviously like other contractors we were brought in, we tender for the job. We were so lucky to be successful enough to, to win the tender and uh, just a week before Christmas we were we were told we had a job and uh, we had to kind of get ready to mobilise for the 7th of January and ever since then it's been just completely flat out ever since then all go. Now we've been great, the weather's been great, it's, it's worked out very well in our favour, you know that um, uh, we didn't have any rain, much rain and so on, much frost, very little and the lads have put a lot of hard hours and a lot of hard work to make it happen, you know, so it's um, all going well so far anyway. Very good, and we're standing down here at the bottom of the Old Vic Gallop, which everybody will know, and the poly track beside it, what now is called the Free Eagle. So tell us a little bit about what's going to happen here, John, and what you are doing exactly. At the moment, we're putting on the sand. We've everything else done. All the drainage has been put in place. Uh, the, the old surface was removed. We re-profiled the banks, so we had to raise the gallop up to get more height on it, to keep it up, to make the drainage improve. So we've already put in all the drainage base, heavy membranes underneath, some uh, support drainage zone on top of the existing stone and <clears throat> now the sand goes on on top again with a, a rubber uh, in between the sand and the, and, the, and the drainage base. And this of course as I said earlier this was poly track so this was pulled up and what is the why was the decision for the Curra to change from the poly track to your sand? Well I think the poly track had broken down over many years it's been probably here maybe 12 or 13 years ago since it was done so after like, like every surface you know, there is a time period on them. So they decided to go with a wash Wexford sand this time uh, as a change from the wax. I think the wax can get very, very, can be very quick. It can't be used in uh, more ways than one. You know, it can only be a quick surface. You have to power hard a lot to make it soft. With this surface, there will be fiber added to it, but you can change the performance of the surface by rolling it and deep hardening it and watering it. So it can be a quick surface, but it can be a working surface as well. So for the combination of both horses, both flat and national hunt, they can both use this gallop uh, with, with different maintenance routines. Which is brilliant and it's a huge asset to the Curra trainers and the trainers that come here to work their horses, having the famous Old Vic beside it and now a sand gallop. And Poly Track, tell us a little bit about that. That is expensive to maintain then, so this has been obviously the correct decision to change the sand then, I well, take it John. A, a Poly Track has, a, has a, a, a polymer wax mixed in with the sand and fibre. Okay. That binds it, so you shouldn't have to water it. But like Dundalk, they would have a Poly Track on it. It suits flat horses for doing light work, but if you want to do heavier work on it and work the horses a little bit more into the surface, you have to power hard like to make it looser. So with the sand and fiber, you will power hard very uh, not near as much. So you deep harrow it to loosen up the sand so the horses can work a little bit more into it. But then if you water and roll it, the horses can work on top of it as well. But it, ha it has been proven now that this surface, this Wexford sand surface, it's a, a combination, it's a Darcy sand. And it's it's it's, 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 it's quarried in black water in Huddy Wexford. So the sand has been multi washed and all the, the, the larger particles, grains, have been taken out of it. So it's a more uniform grain, a, a sand grain. So it doesn't compact, it has fantastic drainage structure. And when you add the fibre to it, it knits it together so the horse can stay on top of it rather than going down too deep into it. But if you work the harrow deeper, the horses will increase depth into it as well and safely work deep into it, building up their stamina better. And this is what a lot of trainers, especially national hunt trainers, and I know you're very busy covering a lot of trainers around the country, this is what they're putting down now on their round gallops. 90% of them are going back to the sand. You will have some trainers that will have wood chip gallops, not knocking the wood chip. Some trainers do have them as well for doing very light work, breeze of work. But most of the trainers now have found that the sand is the most manageable surface, the most cost effective surface, and, and, and they get the best work out of it. And you're very busy, John, covering plenty of yards, as I said small gallops and large gallops all around the country. Very busy last year, great year doing uh, gallops for small trainers, uh, big trainers and uh, new trainers coming up as well. Just mind this guy coming out here. We, we do a lot of work for the, the, the point to point uh, guys, you know, and uh, they've been great to us throughout the years. We started off from that work and we've moved on from there. It started locally, but it has increased now nationwide, all over Ireland and into the UK as well. We, we actually send this sand to the UK now as well on a regular basis and it's become very popular. More calls are coming in from the UK for, the, for this sand so it's a, and for our services as well. 
And tell us, John, how many lorry loads would it take to fill this gallop? This this gallop will take five thousand tons of sand to, to, to cover it. So it's a it's a ten for it's a ten furlong gallop. It's a lot of lorry loads from two thousand meters. Uh, yeah, uh, It's four point five meters wide. The sand is going in thirteen inches deep. So like. Five thousand ton. It's it's a lot of sand, but uh, you know it, it has great longevity as well. Like so, you know it, when you put this sand down, you're looking at ten years plus before you have to do anything with it as well. So it, it is worth it in the long term. Put in new white railing. The old white railing was taken down. This has all been installed as well as we go. Uh, the whole gallop from start to finish. We started it on the twenty first of January, so it's to be open next Tuesday. So it's completely on time and in budget. And uh, there'll be a big open day here next Tuesday with most of the trainers that use the gallop here come to test ride some horses on it. So it's all going now from here until next Tuesday, believe me. I don't think there'll be any break. Good, we'll be Anna. walking into the night tonight and tomorrow night. job of watering it and harrowing it as well there's fiber still down the surface that's going to keep it nice and tight for the guys that we've been speaking to like Johnny and so on they, they don't want to be going too deep into the surface they want to be on top of it it's it's, it's six it's six and a half seven furlongs but as you see when you go up the hill she starts to go downhill for the last furlong yeah so you kind of you can breeze from so far and then when you get to the bend you're kind of pulling up and camping down the hill it's ideal for flat horses it's ideal for flat horses and I don't think you will be uh, this will get the interest from the National Hunt guys this this is the flat area around here and this is what it was kind of designed for and uh, it's mostly the only the flat guys that will be using it and this took how long to from start to completion six weeks from start to finish and that was winter time so you know in the summertime we probably cut that back down by a couple of weeks but we were blessed again with the weather you know it's uh, we we had to work the little girl from one end only because we had no access from, from the bottom side. Oh, with, so, which the free eagle, you're working from top to bottom and meeting in the yeah. middle then. We can work from both ends, so yeah. then it makes it a little bit more accessible and you know, it is a lot longer as well, so it did help. But here we had to manage it a lot differently. When you were when we we're putting in the drainage, we started from the, the start of the gallop and worked right to the very end. And then we started from the end and worked way back again. So there was a lot, it was more difficult to, to coordinate that. But you know, we, we got it, we done it in the time we, we, we set out to do it. And again, look, it, it was a lot of hard work, you know, from the guys up here in the middle of winter, you know, from the 7th of January, we started, we were starting here at maybe it's part of 7, 7 o'clock in the morning, it was black, dark, a couple of light towers up, and we weren't leaving <laughs> here till 7 o'clock in the evening, so right. there were very long days, you know, but um, we, again, the, the weather did help, but, you know, with, with, with the guys uh, putting in the hours, it made an awful difference. As well, this is all new railing as well, then? All new railing, yeah, so, turned the light way it turned it's out. Sharp, yeah. It's a... Uh, the posts are centered every two meters because of the wind factor here and uh, we didn't want to have any of the and, and also the friendly sheep that knock around here yeah, as well that's they, true, they, yeah. kinda, they like rubbing up against the post they so do. you have to have them uh, well, well well in the ground so they don't don't knock down the, knock down the rail and i know we, we can see the stand and the new stand in the background john i know that's not your end at all obviously but um it's looking fantastic isn't it oh, it's looking great you know Hopefully, maybe we might get a day out there when. when oh, it geez, if they couldn't treat you, know. you to a day out there, John, there's something wrong, isn't there? We hope so, anyway. I think I'll be getting all the lads that we want to be included in that day as well. <laughs> on Derby Day. Yeah, on Derby Day, yeah. John, this is the canter down from the top of the Old Vic back down to the bottom. And this going to have the same job as well, Sand? It's going to be the same job. Being redrained, being a uh, base layer being done. Uh, it's very oh, deep, isn't it? it? It's deep at the moment. We've got. Uh, you know, there's 12 inches of stone to go into this. Okay. And then there's going to be 13 inches of sand as well, and right. then fibre as well. So we have to have that depth yep. to get the height in it. Now at the moment, Owen is grading out the banks there. He's doing all the shaping work that's needed to retain the sand, retain the stone. You see, he's doing a really nice job. So um, when that's all done, we we'll go back in. We we'll start digging the drains, put down the base membrane, put in our 12 inches of stone, regrade it, take any dips and hollows out of that may be in it and then put the new heavy membrane on and then put our sand on again the same same sequence again 
and then by using very uh, good bank system to retain it that you don't get soil washing into the sand that obviously is going to make your sand last way longer as well are you on a deadline we're on a deadline here yeah we've uh, to open the free eagle there on next tuesday so with the last uh, six or seven hundred tons of sand to go on it between the season and tomorrow and then we'll re regrade it level it up and then start adding the fiber to it and you know the next three or four days we should have we should have it already to go. and you'll finish up at this part here yeah. down with the canter down canter down is due to be open on the 25th so we've a little bit of leeway on that now at the moment but um still it's still it's going to be tight it's, the whole schedule has been tight but you know it's it's been to work around all the trainers here in the car you know not to upset their routine so much coming into a very busy flat season for them so it's a, you know it, it's a good pressure to have you know so and for anybody wanting to change their gallop or put in a new gallop you're not a hard man to find and you're always available to go look and putting in a new gallop for anybody that wants one yeah i know we've got a few gallops to do straight after this and thankfully enough people know we're busy because kind of common knowledge and through twitter and so on that we are here in the car working and you know they have been giving us a bit of grace i'd say you know but um hopefully the phone won't stop ringing you know and we'll be we'll be starting to go back to our few of our regular customers straight after this and you know to do a few new jobs as well for uh, for a few new customers well, that's good john thanks very much for taking the time i know you're very busy to show me the gallops and tell us a little bit about what's going to be completed here in a few weeks time and uh best of luck with the rest of it great thanks very much david thanks for coming